Thank you so much for stopping by. In case this is your first time, my name is Miriam. This is my sister, Tabitha, and Tabitha uh, is involved in some community development uh, initiative uh, through agriculture. It's one of the uh, driving factors in trying to uh, find solutions, address the issue to do with food security, um, unemployment, and other related uh, issues. She does a lot. I can't even name all of them. Tabi, it's nice to have you here again today. It feels good to be back again. Okay. Yeah. So I want us to quickly, because last time you were having this conversation, mm -hmm. I we talked about quickly, I think we just rushed through it, mm -hmm. the fact that you went to school, you studied communication. She studied journalism. Okay, in our family, we are six. Five of us are into communication any sort of way we are we are in there uh, things right mm -hmm. and i am the practicing journalist now this one here has started has studied journalism mm -hmm. but she decided that was not her passion she did not want to pursue that passion and the reason why i thought this conversation is very important i'll just give a very short story quickly before you you give us your side of your mm -hmm. of your story there's a young lady who reached out for mentorship. Uh, I'm studying international relations, so she is in that class. And so she realized that I am I'm, I'm a journalist. And so she really wanted to know how she could get into that. And I told her, then why, what are you doing in an international relations class? And she said her parents have insisted she has to study international relations. Otherwise, if she wanted to do what she wanted, which was journalism, they were not going to pay for her school fees or they were going to take her to a different country. She's a bit younger uh, to, to study that and not here in Kenya. So now she's stuck doing something that she's not, she does not even like. And that is the situation with so many young people. You find yourself stuck doing something that you don't enjoy. And it's like you don't have the liberty to do something different outside of that because of your support system that will not allow you to actually live your 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 life in ways that you feel you've been called to live or do something that you feel you're good at for you you've you studied journalism but you're not practicing journalism mm -hmm. uh, what you're doing is totally different and i know there's some aspect of communication in that because you, you do a lot of that in your day-to-day -day, what you do with the community so why did you choose not to uh, practice journalism despite the fact that that is what you've studied mm, I, I think that um, first of all um, your your i'll say classmate um, now that you say she's young and her parents have to decide for her, uh, we sometimes don't get to know really what we want until when you probably uh, get to school and you have this idea of uh, you want to become a lawyer, you want to be a journalist. Then along the way is when with the, uh, with the exposure interaction, you find uh, what you really love. But you see already you are halfway into uh, its studies and it counts for something that you go to school and study something because it's very important even as you want to choose your other paths in life and follow other passions so then um mine i i, I love the idea of uh, being a journalist i just don't uh i'll have never thought of uh, being a, a broadcast journalist or anything close or reporting. Oh, I am curious. Um, my kind of um, uh, journalism or uh, idea of communication and why I think it's, for me it's very important. Mm. I would like to use my voice to amplify other things, mm -hmm. especially that relates to my work mm -hmm. and how I can use the space of media, which I actively participate in, mm -hmm. to amplify issues that are in the community, uh, to amplify development matters, uh, to discuss um, ideas and things like that. Mm -hmm. And also maybe if I was to get there actively, mm -hmm. probably come up with something that touches on the community as a program. Okay. I'm yes. just, sorry, let me, sorry for cutting you. I'm just curious mm -hmm. because growing up, I think for me at the age of six, I already knew I wanted to be a journalist, either a journalist or a lawyer, but mostly a journalist because mm -hmm. of the, the kind of influence I, I saw uh, mm -hmm. when I interacted with the television mm -hmm. uh, for the first time back then. A long time ago, we still had uh, 
I can wear televisions and a thing. I don't know, mm -hmm. but very long, very long time ago when Grateful was the thing. Okay, yeah. Yeah. she does not know Grateful. So no television. Idea. That was that was the, that was the thing. And so the first time I saw an anchor, anchor, you know, anchoring, I wondered what is it about these people and why is it that they have all this information in their head and they're passing out so i was fascinated so at the age of six seven you'll find me with the newspaper trying to read and all that just imitating and that is how i fell in love and then growing up i was a bit of an introvert i think i still am uh, judged mm, by yeah. the uh, how I, I interact out there and so uh, reading was an escape for me so I loved information. So I, I developed a love for information, which I do till date. <laughs> so that automatically journalism was just a natural uh, progression and, and something I, I wanted to pursue for myself. So it started early. I'm just wondering for yourself, is that something that you wanted to do as mm -hmm. a child? Because I know now growing mm -hmm. up, uh, much of your maybe early teenage, uh, I'd probably started practicing journalism. So maybe you saw a bit of that. I don't know, did, did, what did you want to become? Yeah, that exactly, I wanted to become a journalist and I'm still one, just um, in my own other ways. Yes. Um, that's what I wanted. Mm -hmm. Um, that is what I went to school for. Mm -hmm. I it was because you applied for you my applied high school, for it. yes, then my high school, mm -hmm. and um, even uh, growing up, um, my teachers will tell you, especially in high school, mm -hmm. even in primary school, yeah, I remember that I used to do the best compositions that would be read to almost. And I know going to the village school, it's quite a big deal, mm -hmm. and uh, I won a lot of uh, debates um, at a very young uh, age mm -hmm. compared to my senior ones in high school mm -hmm. and main schools. Mm -hmm. And uh, even um, my communication and love for journalism uh, made me st stand out even in, um, you know, a student leadership. And so even at this particular point, I think um, my knowledge in journalism and some of the things I've learned, uh, they've equipped me to know how to undertake community work better, interact better, build my social capital better and uh, also articulate better because uh, some of what we do really needs articulation. And so then um, I'll say that uh, maybe I, myself, what I, what I keep saying is uh, I also loved seeing people um, on the screen and they look very beautiful up to date, uh, our news anchors. But then um, I equally, I get this opportunity to speak on screen. So for me, I don't feel like I'm missing on nothing. Mm -hmm. But then my approach to being on uh, on TV actively for me, uh, now using the you know uh, knowledge on journalism. And of course, you know, when you go to school, you are free to choose. You can be a broadcaster or a public uh, mm -hmm. relation person, or you, you do news, uh, I mean, I mean uh, yeah. news write, um, mm -hmm. newspaper writing and all that. So what did you make print. Mm -hmm. So for me, PR was important because uh, either way I knew, because mm -hmm. at a very very young age again uh, into my career, not career, but basically my studies in journalism, I, I was able to access TV. So for me, that uh, um, urge to really want to become a new singer so that I can be on screen every day, I think was a bit slowed down by that. So then Pierre, I knew I could practice um, in the government, I could practice in uh, in corporate, and of course I've done that, at least it gave me an in way into banking. <laughs> And of course, other things, even community, is really helping me a lot. So I'm a journalist, but now practicing differently. Okay. Mm. All right. Okay. I think that is very clear. Mm. Now, uh, just referencing back to the story I've just shared, or mm. people who found themselves uh, having gone to school, studied something that maybe um, they didn't really want, or somehow they wanted it, but they got themselves in there, and in the process, somehow... Uh, their head, you know, clicked yeah. that they wanted to do something different. Mm -hmm. Do you know it is through my practicing journalism mm -hmm. in my work mm -hmm. that I fell in love with international relations? So for me, I think talking to my younger uh, classmates, mm -hmm. I, I I don't know, I couldn't relate because I think for me I was old enough. So I made that choice to go and study international relations. I've already studied journalism and to add to uh, my scope of understanding, but it is through studying journalism that I found passion of studying international relations. I'm a Pan-African journalist. So in my endeavor trying to understand how Africa fits within the community of nations, I really, you know, drove me to studying international relations, which is something I totally enjoy. So when she was, this lady, she's at pains because this is something she really does not like to do. I, I, I didn't even know how to 
how to help her. So yeah. how can people, mm. um, maybe if you find out that you don't like something, how, I mean, is that liberty? People can change careers in, in the process of you realize, oh, yes. I think I want to do something totally different. And, um, and I think even for myself, I will not pursue journalism in terms of education further than I have, but I want to pursue international relations further uh, to the to the highest level I possibly can because now I love journalism, but I really love international relations. They oh, match together in a beautiful way, but I really love this side of because I think it allows me to do other things that I also love and I'm passionate about and I think I've shared, we'll share that some other time. Okay. So how can one merge, I think, passions and maybe change parts in life or I, I don't know like um, mm -hmm. I think um, um, uh, through experience I've learned that education purpose of education is to make us teachable and uh, subsequently uh, you can be very flexible and you can adjust to uh, to other things that life throws at you but the papers are very important so then uh, international relations is a very good cause we have even journalists practicing in our country here and they did not uh, study journalism at all some of them studied uh, law and things like that so mm -hmm. then she can get the certificates and she should get them equally it will give her a niche into uh, the world of media because she can be a journalist just doing issues to do with the diplomacy yes so then there's always um there's always somewhere uh, you can always feel with the, the knowledge you get through education so then uh, it doesn't mean that you should be discouraged but then again passion sometimes if not well um defined it can make you have some other challenges that uh, you'll not be able to tackle um when now the life and, and the education that you are trying to see is not being very relevant because that's not what you're to study yeah. throws at you so then uh for me what has always worked and, and i believe completely that when you have that degree it gives you a cutting edge um, and it sets you apart because at the end of the day the value of education cannot be underscored and equally she can have as many papers as you have the better now the world is very competitive she'll finish her international relations can you imagine she gets a diploma or a degree in in, in i mean in communications mm -hmm. and given that education has no age then we are looking at somebody who is so secure to the job market and even in terms of uh, uh, delivery professionally she'll be at par so then uh, she can finish this at the same time she can start carving a niche into um world of um media and diplomacy and i mean she can work even in communication um uh, departments for these uh, international uh, diplomatic uh, organizations uh, like European Union or, or just international uh, organizations. Yes, yes. Mm, yeah. So there's a lot of opportunity for her yeah. and uh, she can embark on that. So uh, I think uh, maybe now when you talk to her, you can just uh, let her know that passion is, of course, the most important thing. But then also uh, these other areas, maybe she never know uh, how important she'll appreciate them at the end of the day. So it's important. And I keep saying that it's uh, many of us young people nowadays, you want to prob probably maybe leave school uh, thinking that passion pays. Passion is nice because you wake up every day and you, you're doing what you love. But then uh, sometimes um, when the passion is there, and of course, you also they say that uh, opportunity when it meets preparedness, then that is luck because luck doesn't just happen like that. So then you have to do your work. If it's going to school, get that certificate. Just do your part. Just do your part. Okay. And and, and then add it with the passion. I'm telling you, it'll work out. It's okay. gonna be good. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. You're very wise, you see. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying. You learn from the best. <laughs> All right, you guys. Uh, thank you so much. You will. Uh, talk about uh, especially uh, the issue to do with uh, volunteering mm -hmm. in, in order to gain experience mm -hmm. which is something a lot of young people shy away from but that will be a conversation for next time so thank you so much for, for watching uh, please don't forget to to do what to like share subscribe and leave a comment below leave a comment below definitely are going to appreciate that yes. all right and you the rest of your day bye 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 bye, bye, -bye. <laughs>